Hey guys, another great day to draw. Today we are doing a Firebird car. This is a request from June from California and she would like to name the car Baby. So here you go, June. I also have some fun facts that I did not know about Firebirds. And here we go. So we are going to start with the window. Because we have to start somewhere, we're gonna start with the window. So you want it diagonal, okay? So we're gonna do Two diagonal p oh, parallel. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Not a double line there. Come on. And this is the back window. And then the front window, you want to be angling this way. And make a double line because that's the front window. Okay? So we're going to have a couple parallel lines. So we have a parallel line here. We can also extend this because this is going to be where it's going to come all the way to the back and all the way front, and this one you're gonna loop down. So we're just gonna stop right there. Now we want it parallel, so we have this one, this one. Now we wanna make a line down here. This is for the bottom of the car. Okay, and now we're gonna do the top car. The top of the car is gonna be rounded. So we want it to come here and then come and touch. And then you have here and you come touch, okay? So we're kind of getting the, the look of the car. Now we're gonna do the front windshield. So this is gonna connect over here. And I kind of made the front windshield a little too caved in. So let's bring this out a little bit. Okay, so that's the front windshield. And then we have the side mirror. Great job. And now let's do the back of the car we're gonna connect. So we're just gonna bring it, connect it here. And let's do the front hood of the car. So off of here, bring it forward. You can see the car coming along. And now it almost looks like it has like a point here, just a slight point. So you're gonna bring it down, make it like a point, and then have it come and connect. So you can see the shape of the car. Now, we're into the bottom part of the car. And some of these lines don't necessarily connect. And this is where the hood is gonna go pop, pop, pop it up. Bring it down over like this. And these are its lights. And we're gonna give it, this is like the, the front light, the whole area. So that's the front lights. The car is not on. If you guys want to make the, the headlights yellow, great. Um, this right here is that Firebird symbol. So if you look it up, it actually looks like a really cool Firebird. But we're just making a symbol of what it looks like. And then we're going to put two squares on either side. These are like the air vents. And we'll just do a couple lines across. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so now we need to get the wheel wells. So we're gonna come here and just make it come down. So here down, so we know, okay, it's about right there. This is the beginning of that wheel well. Come up and over. And for the back one, do you see how this ends right here? So we wanna bring this down. See this ends right here, this is right here. Then you're gonna bring this over. Awesome job. Okay, so it has these lines at the bottom. They're parallel lines. So I'm going to take my pencil. There's gonna be one, two, three lines added. So we're gonna do the first line. One, two, three lines. And then we can continue this up here. We have one, and it kind of goes underneath here. Whoop. We got another line and this goes underneath and we are going to make this the, it's kind of like the, that's like the funniest, smallest bumper. Yikes. Okay. So right here, this is a, a bumper. I'm going to bring that around. So we're going to be sharp coloring that in and 
This is gonna come around here. A bumper on this side. It's like a little soft bumper. There isn't a line in the middle there. Boy, that front looks a little wonky wonky, but maybe it'll look better when we're all done. Okay, so we have one, two, and then there's a third line up here. And this one's just gonna go all the way to here. There we go, let's do the three lines in the back. So we have one, two, three lines. Okay, we're starting to see this Firebird come along, come alive. Now, we're gonna race a little bit in here. So it's just like a line here, and then we want to erase right here. Let's connect this. And that's just gonna stop right there, okay? And we can, this is where the door opens. So right off of here, we're gonna make it loop around and then come down. And this is the door handle. Got it? All right. And over the wheel wells, we are gonna put this little crease line where it pops out. Now we need to put the wheels in. So we're gonna start with one wheel to the other circle, and inside that circle is another circle. So you can kind of erase in there. Okay, and bring this over. Okay, do the same thing on the back wheel. So we're gonna have a one circle. Yikes, yikes. Okay, here we go. And then inside that is another circle. And inside that is another circle. So you can kind of erase. Super drop. And then this is gonna be the tire here. I did put a shadow under here. So I'm just gonna put a shadow. Okay, I think we are ready to Sharpie. I do have a small Sharpie and a thin Sharpie. I mean, a thick and a thick, thin. Okay, so we're gonna go over our lines. And while we do that, I'm gonna tell you fun facts that I learned about the Firebird. So, when the Firebird launched in 1967, almost six months after the Camaro, which is like its competitor, it was an immediate hit. Everybody just loved it, especially if you get it in red, like this one is from red. They were trying to, back at that time, they were at all these like sports cars were starting to come out. You had the Corvette and the Camaro, and now they had that Pontiac, it's a Pontiac Firebird. I'm gonna outline it and it's gonna look better, but here we go. And John DeLorean designed it. I'm assuming that's the same guy that designed the actual DeLorean. And growing up, that's from Back to the Future. That's my brother Mark's favorite car. He was obsessed. He wanted a DeLorean. Cause the... Now you can see um, the Tesla. They have the doors that just open up like that. It's so cool. All right. We're doing good. So let's just uh, make our straight lines as much. If you have a ruler, go for it. Then you'll really get some nice straight lines. But I'm just kind of, kind of winging it. Okay, we're going around with tire. Now, I sharpied in the wheel wells because we want them to be like gaping darkness. Yes, I'm sure a ruler would help, but we'll just free in it today. All right. I think it's coming along. 
Well, I have to be honest, I was a little scared to draw this and kind of avoided it. Because this was requested a little bit ago and I was like, eh, do I really want to do that? But finally I just, I just gotta do it. So it's not that bad. All right, I think I'm gonna sharpie in the bumpers and I'm sharpieing in the lights. I know you guys can, don't have to sharpie them in, but I will sharpie those in too. Okay, so I'm gonna get the big sharpie out. That thing's wussy. And now we can sharpie in the wheel wells. You can outline it. And then we'll start putting some color in. So I'm gonna sharpie, see how fast I can sharpie underneath here. What should I be doing right now instead of drawing? Mm, cleaning. Do I enjoy cleaning? Nope. So instead of cleaning, I'm drawing. This is definitely more fun than cleaning. Yes. Color all that in. Hope yours is turning out. I'm curious, are you guys gonna make it another color? Oh, ooh, we got some more fun facts. Okay, the Firebird remains in pro remained in production for 35 years, and that's four generations. And Bill Porter and Norm Ione created the Icon Firebird decal, but they didn't create that till, so it was first made in 1967. They did not make the decal decal till 1970, and it was not slapped on the hoods, see the little hood right there, until 1973 when they finally said, okay, okay, we're gonna put that on. And that's what they're known for. So just go around the outside and just make it a little thicker. You're gonna be pleased with the look. Just going around the outside. Okay. And in 1969, the convertible Trans Am remained the rarest and the most valuable. Only they, there was only eight that were made. And now they could be sold. We're gonna erase this. It could be sold for as much as 1.2 million if it's in mint condition. Hello. That is a definite value. I mean, up in value. Okay, super job. So let us start with lettuce. <laughs> we only use three colors, red, black, and gray. Let's start with the gray. So the bottom two strips in the bottom here are gray. So we're just gonna color those gray. It's supposed to be like silver, but we're still gray. Okay, go along the bottom here. And then inside this wheel well, I mean inside the wheel, is gray. Have you guys ever wanted a Corvette or a Firebird or a sports car? Zoom around in. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna show you what to do with this gray to make the windows. So just do a light. Go around the outside just lightly. So now to make it look, let's go around this one too. Bloop, bloop. To make the windows, so I just come in here and just do a couple of cross lines like this. And same thing with this window. I might try to make it the same direction. And then you come in with black and do a couple extra streaks. Hmm, you know what? I might actually like put some more gray in there. So it looks like it's like tinted windows or something. There's too much white in there. I did not like it. Okay, so that's done. Let us go in and do the tires with the black. 
So of course right here, you wanna make that super dark. Tires can be, of course, black. Why are tires black? Well, if you had a white tire, they would turn black. They would get so dirty from being on the ground. So just how they're made. Probably more rubber. That would be funny if there was like pink tires or purple tires. I'm sure there is somewhere. All right. Oh, this is all black inside here too. Okay, let's go around this one. Go around the outside and then of course inside here is black. Super drop. Let, oh, yeah, we got everything. Let's go in with the red. And I want you guys to pretty much just outline where all the Sharpie is. Let's go around it. And then you can just lighten it up inside. And I made it lighter across little light streaks, so maybe the shininess of it right here. And I made it extra dark right along the bottom here. And then come up lighter. Darker on the bottom, come up lighter. Okay, we're gonna go along the window. You guys come up with some crazy requests, but I'm always up for a challenge, right? Gotta see if I can do it or not. If you don't challenge yourself, then you're not improving. It just takes practice, okay? I'm just gonna color this whole thing in, and I'm probably gonna go darker up there like I did here. Right here, a little darker. Darker here. All right, I think that's looking pretty good. I am satisfied. Yay! All right, hope you guys loved your Firebird. Have an amazingly stupendous day. Catch you later. Bye.